Hello, welcome back, guys. So we are going to start journey for single row function to explain you all the functions in detail. And I have bifurcated this single row function related to CAR in multiple parts. And today the first session for all the single row function in very much detail with the syntax and use of all these functions and when we have to use these functions and all. So we will have multiple parts for single row function character because there are a lot of function in character and it's very, very important to understand and know in detail, okay? So in single row function CAR part one, I'm going to explain you three functions today. One is upper, another one is lower, and third one is init cap. If you like our videos and you feel that it is interesting and you are understanding the concept, you guys can like our videos and subscribe as well so that you can get notification on a timely basis to just go through next journey. So let's just start with this upper, lower, and init cap function. So first of all, let's try to understand what is this upper function all about? So upper function will change any character value into uppercase. For an example, if we have first name, last name, and all in employees table, all of you know very well about employees table, and we have employee name in that, job ID and all. So if we have to change the case to uppercase, then we can use upper function. Now the question is, when we may have to change into uppercase? So for an example, if we are going to make a standard data in the sense from source, you are getting some name as upper, some name as lower, some name having mix of characters and all, and you want to just change in one format. In that case, it can be upper, it can be lower. So let's try to see what is the syntax of upper function. So syntax is just write upper and the column name or any value. For an example, here I am writing select upper last name from employees. So what it's going to do, the last name, whatever the value it is, either it is in lower case or mix of characters, it's going to change into uppercase. And if it is uppercase, then it will be uppercase itself. So if we are going to apply upper function on last name, for an example, then all the name is going to be changed to uppercase, okay? So I can just walk you through the syntax and then we'll go to database and fire some queries. So this is the story of uppercase. Now let's talk about our next function and that is lower. So its name itself is very clear, right? That it is going to change any value or any character into lowercase. So the syntax is same as uppercase, the function name and the column name. That's it, simple, right? So when you are going to apply lower on the column name, it's going to show you all the value as lowercase, okay? This is the lower function. Now we have another function called init cap. This is very much interesting function, guys. What it does, it change first 
letter of any word in upper case and all other letter into lower case for an example if any function any column having um, five words so what it will do it will change each words first letter into upper and all other into lower for an example if i am just going to apply init cap function on a value that is steven king and the output will be like this so first letter into upper case or into lower case so let's see some of the examples here i wrote for you guys so first of all upper case i am displaying the original column value as well as once we will apply upper function how it's going to look like so let's run it so here you can see the data was first letter into upper and all other into lower case and when i applied upper function on this first name change like this means all the characters became in upper case so this is the syntax and i guess it is very much simple syntax write the function and inside the parenthesis just write the column name or any value let's see the lower case here so lower case first name was first letter in upper case and all in lower case and once i applied lower case function what happened all the value changed to lower case now let's see init cap init cap means initial into capital means initial letter into capital so if i am going to run this query what's going to happen for ln it was already in kind of init cap structure itself you can see the first e in upper case and l l e n in lower case so nothing changed you will see but when you will see the job id what is happening it is s a and r e p though there is underscore but it is it is taking it as a two word so once i have applied init cap function on job id what happened s a s became upper case and a became lower case so s was already upper so a became in lower case r e p so r in upper and e p in lower case you can see for all the value like this so this is init cap function guys so let's just recap it so what are things we have discussed today first function was upper to change any value into upper case any fun any column any fixed values and all lower into lower case and init cap will change first letter to upper and all other letter to lower case for each word remember that so that's it for today guys and uh, we'll see you in another journey and we'll go over some more single row function character thanks